Hello guys, Saku Studio here and for today I'm going to show you on how I was able to create this exterior isometric rendered image using SketchUp, Lumion, and Adobe Photoshop. The original creator for this exterior 3D model is Kojiro Sasaki or Desired Space and his links will be on the description down below. For those of you who would like to download the SketchUp and Lumion file for this particular model, I had it posted in my Gumroad website which is called the VH2. You can download the SketchUp in Lumion file for free or any amount would do. Thanks so much. The Lumion version used for MVH2 is Lumion 10 while the SketchUp version is 2020. So here is the original exterior SketchUp model by Kojiro Sasaki. I first cleaned up the model by removing the original landscaping and road and only maintaining the main house. I've also polished some of the textures for the exterior materials. To make the final isometric view a bit better, I added a patch of grass that surrounds the east side of the house, then a curved road and a path walk. For the ideal field of view, when making isometric models, it would be better if we could set it in a lower degree. I am going to press Z so that I can adjust the degree of the field of view. The current degree of the field of view is 30 degrees and I would change it into 5 degrees. The field of view is now more suitable for an isometric model. We could add several street lights on the padwalk and also add some vehicles surrounding the house. Lumion already have some default street light and vehicle models so we would be using those models for this isometric render. I'm also planning to put some trees and plants behind the main house and for that we will be using the trees and plants provided by Lumion. And that is pretty much it for the SketchUp model. Let's now export the file and choose 3D model. We are going to convert this to a Colada file so that we could import it into Lumion later. This is important since we might want to use some of the textures used on the SketchUp model when editing in Lumion. You can find the folder for the textures near the Colada file after exporting. So let's open Lumion. I'm going to import the Colada file that we just did on SketchUp. Here is the imported Colada file. I'm going to import another Colada file that will serve as the base for our isometric model. It's just a white rectangle model that I made in SketchUp. Let's first start off with the lightings. Let's put the lightings for the exterior pin lights. Then the lights for the interior. After the lightings, I am going to start adding and editing the textures for the materials. For the road and stone pavement, the surface needs to appear rough and uneven, so I will be setting the relief and displacement to a higher setting. This also applies for the wood panels and the wall concrete textures. For the patch of grass, I will be using the 3D grass texture. After the textures, I am going to start adding some trees and plants surrounding the main house. I will be placing the trees and plants most sleep behind the house to serve as background entourage. After the plants, I am going to add several random people around the house. For the people surrounding the house, I will be adjusting the coloring to maximum to make the color of the people full white. After the random people, I am now going to start adding some vehicles outside the house. I will be placing one on the east side, then another one in front of the house, and one in the carport. After the vehicles, let's start adding some street lamps on the road pavement. I will be placing two street lamps on the east side of the house, then two on the front. And that is basically everything that we have to add in Lumion. Let's now click the camera icon. I already captured two images and edited the rendering effects for one of them. The focal length used for the captured image is 300 millimeters. So here are the rendering effects that I used for this image. First, I used the outlines effects. Color variation is zero. Transparency should be two. Outline density is 0.1 and outline overdraw should be 0.1. After the outline, I use the sun effects. Sun height is 47.9 degrees. Sun heading should be 156.6 degrees. Sun brightness is 0.5 and sun disk size should be 0. After the sun, I use the global illumination effects. Sun amount is 0, fall of speed is 1, reduce spots should be 1, sun max effect distance is 30 meters, and preview spot 
spotlight GI and shadows should be on. After the global illumination, I use the lens flare effects. Streak intensity is 0.8. Streak rotation should be 1. Streak count is 4. Streak dispersion is 0.7. Streak fall off is 1.7. Bloom amount should be 0.4. Master brightness is 0.7. Unmorphic streak amount is 0. Ghosting amount is also 0. Isolate bright pixels is 0. Halo amount is 0. And lens dirt amount is 0. After the lens flare, I use the autumn colors effects. Hue should be 0. Saturation is 1. Range is also 1. Hue variation is 0. And target layer should be 1. After the autumn colors, I use the fog effects. Fog density is 0.6. Fog fall off is 0. Fog brightness is 0.2. And brightness should be 1. After the fog, I use the print poster enhancer effects. Enabled should be on. After the print poster enhancer, I use the bloom effects. Bloom amount should be 0.1. After the bloom, I use the sharpen effects. Intensity should be 0.1. After the sharpen, I use the exposure effects. Exposure should be 0.6. After the exposure, I use the color correction effects. Temperature is 0. Tint is 0.2. Vibrance should be 0.4. Brightness is 0.7. Contrast is 0.5. Saturation is 1. Gamma correction is also 1. Limit low is 0. And limit high should be 1. After the color correction, I use the reflection effects. Reflection threshold should be 25 centimeters. Preview quality should be high. And speed grade reflections should be on. For the edit reflection planes, I selected all of the windows around the house. After the reflection, I used the hyperlight effects. Amount is 50.6% and enable in preview should be on. After the hyperlight, I used the shadow effects. Sun shadow range is 390 meters. Coloring is 3. Brightness is 0. Interior exterior is also 0. Omni shadow should be 0.5. Shadow correction is 0. Shadow type should be normal. And soft shadows and fine detail shadows should be on. After the shadow, I used the real skies effects for the select real sky, I choose the clear 5 on the clear tab. Heading should be 3.5 degrees. Brightness is 1.5. Overall brightness is 1.7. And flip sky should be off. After the real skies, I use the skylight effects. Brightness is 1.6. Saturation should be 0. Skylight in planar reflections and skylight in projected reflections should be on and render quality should be ultra. And that is pretty much it for the lumen rendering effects. Let's now render this image, let's use the print size or 3840 by 2160 so that the image would be able to handle the post-production process well. Here's the result of the rendered image made using Lumion and let's now proceed with the post-production. So let's open the rendered image in Adobe Photoshop CC. Click the background layer and let's change it into layer 0. Then press OK. After that, press Ctrl Shift A to open the camera raw filter. Let's set the saturation to plus 4, vibrance to plus 5, the haze would be plus 21, clarity to plus 100, and let's set the texture to negative 55. After that, let's adjust the settings. We are going to lessen the black elements on this image as well as the highlights. Alright, this is good enough, press OK. After the camera raw filter, let's add the Gaussian blur effect. Hold Alt, then drag the layer 0 down. A layer 0 copy should come out. Then drag it above layer 0 without holding Alt. Change the normal setting into soft light, then adjust the opacity to 40%. Go to filters, then select blur, and under the blur effect, select Gaussian blur. Radius should be 5 pixels, then press OK. After the Gaussian blur, let's add the high pass effect. Press Ctrl Shift Alt E, a layer 1 should appear above layer 0 copy. Then press Ctrl Shift U. The layer 1 should turn black and white. Change the normal setting into overlay and set the opacity into 25%. Go to filters and select others. Then select high pass. Radius should be 10 pixels. Then press OK. Let's now save this rendered image. Quality should be 12 and maximum. And that is pretty much it for the post-production process. Here's the difference between the rendered image with just rendering it with Lumion and after applying the post production with Adobe Photoshop CC. I hope that you've learned something new from this video. Thanks so much for watching and have a good day.